Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. The question is P, Q, R, S and T lie on a circle. So they have given 5 points P, Q, R, S and T which are lying on the circle and W, S, R is a straight line and angle W, S, P is given as 112 degrees. So they have said that WSR is a straight line. They are asking us to find the angle PTR. So PTR needs to be found out. So this is the angle which we need to find. Let us start with WSR which is mentioned as a straight line. As we know that the straight line makes an angle of total 180 degrees when it is being cut by an arc or by a line. So here we can find out this part of the angle S because the total angle becomes 180 degrees. So we can find out this angle by subtracting 112 degrees with 180 degrees. So we get it as 68 degrees. So this is 68. Now we can see that there are two quadrilaterals which are present inside the circle. So let me just mark out the first quadrilateral over here. So it is S, R, Q, P and S. So let us consider this quadrilateral and this is called as a cyclic quadrilateral because all the four vertices of this quadrilateral are on the circle. So it's called as a cyclic quadrilateral and it is within a circle. Now there is a circle theorem which explains us about the cyclic quadrilaterals. So let me explain to you that first. The circle theorem we are going to use here is called as a cyclic quadrilateral theorem which says that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 degrees. So you can see that I have drawn a circle with center O and there is a quadrilateral with four vertices on the circle. So let me just give some names to the vertices. For example, this is A, this is B, this is C and this is D. So according to the theorem, the opposite angles should add up to 180 degrees. So here we can see that angle A and angle C are opposite to each other. So it means angle A and angle C will add up together to form 180 degrees. Similarly, we can see that angle B and angle D are opposite to each other. So we can also write here as angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. So this is called as a cyclic quadrilateral theorem. So let us see if we can make use of this circle theorem to solve our example. We can use the property and see that angle S is opposite to angle Q. So we can write here as angle S plus angle Q is equal to 180 degrees. So angle Q is equal to 180 degrees minus angle S. Now here we have 180 degrees minus the angle at this point is 68 degrees. So we get angle Q as 112 degrees. So this is 112. Now let us concentrate on another quadrilateral which is present in this circle. So let me just erase this previous one and mark the new quadrilateral. So we can see it is P, Q, R, T, P. This is also a cyclic quadrilateral because you can see that all the four vertices of the quadrilateral are on the circle. Hence angle T and angle Q are opposite to each other. So we can write angle T plus angle Q is equal to 180 degrees. So angle T is equal to 180 degrees minus angle Q. So we have 180 degrees minus angle Q we had got it as 
112 which will give us 68 degrees so angle T or angle RTP or angle PTR is equal to 68 degrees so we can write here angle PTR is equal to 68 degrees I hope you have understood the example and like the video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.